Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dazzle. We want to start out by thanking each of you for coming out and supporting one of our locally owned live performance venues during these strange times. Dad, oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, really. Thank you so much, y'all. Uh, Dazzle has been a part of the Colorado music scene for almost 25 years, and we are proud to be one of the first venues to reopen after the March shutdown. The guidelines set forth by both the city of Denver and the state of Colorado are pretty strict, and both the city and the state are sending inspectors out to be sure businesses are complying. We need your help in adhering to the rules so we may remain open and continue to give artists an outlet, opportunity, and place to perform. So please wear face coverings when not eating or drinking especially when moving around the restaurant. You may see friends here you haven't seen in months. Social interactions between parties are not allowed at this time. Please wave at your friends and send air hugs. If you absolutely must socialize, please do so on the sidewalk outside. And lastly, and most sadly, dancing is not allowed at this time. Move all you want while seated in your chair, but leave the dancing to your performers this evening. Thank you for helping us stay in compliance with regulations, and thank you once again for coming out to support our performers. Now give a warm welcome for Stafford Hunter and Rupi Pachillo.
Somehow it was a mirage, you know. I was looking through my glasses, and uh, you know, because we've been doing live streaming. You know, we're actually we're still doing live streaming, so you know, folks can hear you. So I mean, whatever you're saying out there, I mean, you know, it's going out to all over the world. I have friends and fans, and you know, Japan and Australia that are watching. You know, it's seven in the morning in Japan right now, but I, I got a few trombone students that I know that are glued to the TV, writing down everything, uh, playing whatever. And uh, so, folks, hear what you're doing. So, you know, and they see what we're doing. So I'm sure they're shocked. They're like, "Oh my God, there's live music happening with the audience." So, um, you know, Denver, well, Colorado is doing such a great job doing all of these rough times, and. Uh, but we're back, so uh, thank you so much for just coming out and supporting live music, you know? We all spread out and everything, but now the numbers are, you know, we got most of these seats uh, filled and everything, you know? And that's a beautiful thing on the opening night of live music here at Dazzle and maybe here all in uh, Denver. So we, we thank you and we appreciate you very much. So please give yourselves a round of applause, you know? Thank you so much. I'm Stafford Hunter, and I do a series every Saturday um, here, Stafford Hunter Presents. And right now, and I, I decided, you know, I want to do a vocal thing, because I sing some, <coughs> but, you know, <coughs> I had this little accident, and, <coughs> you know, the vocal cords are not happening like they usually happen. And I, so I said I had to bring in, uh, you know, somebody who can uh, really do it. And, um, and this young lady... Is uh, she can really do it? She's a young little girl, but uh, but you know she's a New Yorker, so you know that's just a whole different level of maturity there. You know what might be 18 over here is like 14 over here and everything. So she's a, you know, in music, you know she's a grown up lady. So you know, well, a little bit grown up, Man, ain't too grown, but uh, you know, still got a lot of stuff to learn here. So, but uh. I think you're going to enjoy this lady. I enjoy uh, doing some things with her. She's a fabulous vocalist and uh, musician. How about a nice round of applause for Miss Ruby Puccelli. Puccello. Come on, Rube. Come on, Rube. Get on out here. Now, see, you know, you can see what kind of day this is. I mean, you know, Stu is such, he is the ultimate gentleman of... Uh, human being, so he would have naturally have just grabbed her hand and helped her. But, you know, we can't do that these days. Because, you know, you see, we're, we're protected by a mask, we're in a mask all the time, you know, and she can take off her mask back here, because she's safe with us. Because she's got to do her thing, and she's got this protected glass here, but, you know, and you see how, how much everything is spaced out here, and you're pretty far from much everything. 
because uh, we're at Dazzle, we're, we're, we're doing it probably better than everybody else. I mean, you know, we're keeping it extremely, extremely safe. And uh, that's a credit to, uh, to all, to, da to, to Donald Rosa, the owner here, and Matt, who's a manager for about a million years, and all the folks here at Dazzle, they just, you know, they do it right. So, you know, you are in safe hands as long as you follow instructions. That's all I'm saying. So, uh. But uh, that's how we're doing it, how we're doing it. But you know, let's get back to some music here, because you got to hear this young lady. Uh, we're going to do some things that I arranged, some things she just suggested and everything. And we're going to start off with a little Horace Silver tune that um, vocally probably made famous by Miss C.D. Dee Dee Bridgewater. Is that Barry? Well, she's the only one I heard do it. And, uh, and just like, man, she's one of those folks that, uh, you know, once she did it, it sounded like that's how it's supposed to be. But uh, you're going to hear Ruby do it. And probably you're going to say, you know what? That's how it's supposed to be. Ruby and her pretty eye.
stuff you know well she's got an incredible voice and just vibe so uh you know that's that's why she's here and uh actually while she's here you're going you're going to hear a little bit on something uh because i just kept hearing stuff around see i'm a graduate teaching assistant up at du uh and that's one of our illustrious professors here mr mike marlier come on give him a nice round of applause yeah. Checking in on us to make sure everything is cool, you know. Uh, teaching her assistant, you know, basically means that uh, Mike says, "Hey, man, I need this," and that means I, that means I got to go do it, you know. <laughs> find some way to do it. See, you, you hear you hear this? Find some way to. But I got the mics. I'm the boss here, so. Uh, <laughs> uh, there you go. But uh, I could like hear there's a bunch of stuff going on in this lady here. Like she got just a lot of power. I said, you know what? I gotta challenge her. So I wrote this arrangement that's just like uh, I said, you know what? I want it as fast as possible. So she said, she just said, okay. I said, okay, just like that. She said, yeah. 
Okay, that's it. Okay. So I'm going to get out of the way and uh, let her and uh, Professor Marlier get at it. It's a little thing called uh, dream dancing. When day is gone and night comes on Until the dawn, what do I do? I clasp your hand and wander through slumberland Dream dancing with you Love we dance between a sky serene and feel of green sparkling with dew it's just sublime whenever i spend my time dream dancing with you dream dancing oh what a lucky windfall touching you clutching you all the night
fast for her. You know what? That just means we got to play something faster, you know? Ain't too fast for me, right? I, 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 we, we all heard that, right? They heard that online, too. It ain't too fast for me. All right. How about another round of applause for Ruby? Come on, give it. We're going to let her take a little break while we uh, get to something else. Uh, um, a few uh, public uh, announcements here before we get to the next tune. Uh, we're incredibly grateful to uh, not only for you folks and to uh, Mr. Donald Rosa for uh, letting us do the streaming that we've been doing for about a month or so, month, month and a half or so, and uh, you know, until things opened up and now we can actually have folks in here. So uh, you know, we appreciate him and all the folks here at uh, just so many folks who were involved in making this happen besides Donald and Matt. Uh, and Dwight, uh, Ms. Cass Clayton, great musician and uh, and great organizer of things from herself. herself. But uh, along with this, we have a project called uh, called Bread and Jam. And we might ask, what is bread and jam? You know, I like bread and I like jam. But uh, you know, the project is uh, it's about helping the musicians of Colorado. You know, just like everybody else. You know, everybody's out of work, and uh, you know, everybody's just laying back and trying to be safe in things and uh, trying to deal with, th with this pandemic. And uh, musicians have, have had it, uh, you know, I don't want to say harder than anybody else, but, you know, we've had our share, because you know that, uh, you know, being a musician is not the easiest way of path in life, especially during these times. So uh, uh, Mr. Rosa and a whole bunch of folks sat down with myself and... Uh, so what can we do to help musicians? And um, Donald's a great organizer. He's like the Pied Piper, you know. He just comes along, comes with an idea, and just the whole stream of folks just follow him in, and uh, and I uh, just love him for that. You know, he came up with this idea called Bread and Jam, and he decided, you know, let's make a pantry so musicians can come down and and take some groceries home to their household, you know, just free of charge. And uh, we figure out. He said, okay, let's figure out how to make that work. And uh, me being a New Yorker, you know, folks are giving, but the folks in Colorado, man, y'all are incredible. The first day, come on, give yourselves a round of applause. The first day we started this, that whole bar all around the side was full of food, full of groceries and things of all types of stuff. And, uh, you know, I was like, man, these folks are, this is, this is a different place here. You know, folks in Colorado came through, and um, you know, musicians all over Colorado. You know, on behalf of uh, us, we thank you so much. And uh, please continue to to donate. You know, during the daytime, twelve to six, I think on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can continue to make donations. You see, we moved the pantry back there, so it's it looks like a supermarket back there. And uh, and you know, and musicians of all types. So I'm telling because we got a bunch of students, some students here, and uh, and some other musicians, and just regular folk, whatever, you know, but us musicians, is particularly for us musicians, so us musicians, whether you're a student, whether you're a professional musician, you need a little bit of extra, need a little bit of help, the folks in Colorado have provided for us, so you can come down, you know, earlier in the day, or even some of you folks that are here now, 
grab a bag and go through and uh, take a bag of groceries home you know, on behalf of the folks of Colorado. So, um, you know, just want to let you know that that service, and if you know some musicians, please tell them that that is available. And other services, uh, some counseling and kinds of things, you can check on the website, the Dazzle Denver, not web, Dazzle Denver website, and uh, check under the Bread and Jams tab, and um, you can see more information. And if you'd like to donate, you can come on, please come on down in the middle of the day and please make a donation. There's folks out here who will take to, to your donations very safely and everything. And you can count yourself as uh, some of the folks who are helping us out. And uh, you can make financial donations either then or check on the website. There is a Bread and Jams tab and you can make uh, donations. I think there are even tax deductible, deductible. You can check on the website. All the information is there. But uh, we need that to continue to happen because this pandemic is not over. And uh, and for the folks who are, let's say we are streaming, uh, that, that goes doubly for you folks there. You can go, and actually for folks online, you can actually, uh, there's a little Venmo tab going across. And you can make a donation to the band if you like what you hear. Please make a donation to the band. That's my Venmo uh, at StaffordHunter.com. And there's a things somewhere around here I will probably put out where you can make guys here in the club if you want to make a donation to the band then we will gladly accept that but I uh, just wanted to let you know some of those things and um, and let's get back to the music on drums we have Mr. Mike Marlier Professor Mike Marlier come on show him your love <laughs> Professor Mike Marlier we have Mr. Bill McCrossin at the bass Mr. Bill McCrossin at the bass and we have Mr. Stu McAskey at the, at the piano. <laughs> Show Stu your love. We're going to play something, uh, a couple of tunes by uh, a great pianist who passed uh, not too long ago. And a uh, legendary pianist, uh, when I'm lucky to say that I was one of his employees uh, for a period of time. And um, um, I'm very grateful of that. And, uh, and he's from my city, the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Come on, you can get Philly a round of applause. Come on, Philadelphia, the city of brotherly shove, you know? We're going to play a tune uh, that I, th I think I'm, I decided I'm going to play on every gig now. And, uh, you know, because this world is just going crazy, you know? You know, and, um, you know, and, and McCoy used to talk about, uh, you know, and he was very peaceful gentlemen, and um, he would talk all about this, just the world, just everybody needs to get along. I mean, you know, it's just too much craziness going on. We're, we're talking about all these differences. There are just so many things that are alike amongst us, you know, that we need to appreciate other than these other things that folks are just keep talking about and go going at to after. And um, just we just need peace, you know? It just everybody, everybody wants the same thing, you know, essentially. So everybody wants peace. And it should be our eternal search for this peace and uh, Mr. Tyner he wrote this tune called Search for Peace which we're going to do a little different than he what he uh, did but uh, and never, you know, but it's still the same story Searching for Peace Featuring our pianist, Mr. Stu McGaskey. Thank you. 
Show me your love. Come on, give me a round of applause for Steve McGaskill. <laughs> All right, we're going to play one more quick tune before we take a little short, short break because we want to get back to some music. And uh, we know, uh, you know, there's all kinds of time restrictions on the city and da 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 da. But, uh, but you know, we, we know that you need to get up and stretch and. Uh, Get to the bathroom and all those things and order another drink and so from these folks back there working hard for you. Come on, that's round of applause. So the wait staff back here, they're taking care of you. Because uh, you know, as the old saying, the more you drink, the better we sound. I mean I, I mean, I mean I'm just saying it. it's a scientific fact. I mean some things never change, some things never change you know. Uh, but um uh, but again. If the folks online, you know, I just want to remind because because they kept telling me, and Dwight kept telling me, and Donald kept saying, "Hey, I know these guys want to be involved." And da da da. I said, "Okay, if I'll mention again, if they want to leave a tip for the band online, because there's folks back at home, they're sitting back on their couch and just enjoying, uh, you know, their drink of choice and listening to the band. But you can contribute to the band, and we greatly do appreciate it. It's not required, but." It is greatly appreciated to the band. There you will notice a Venmo going across the screen, or there is a, uh, I think there is a, on the Dazzle website, there's an artist c contribution thing you can make. And, uh, and uh, if you want to do that, we will greatly appreciate that and take that. You know, we got some bills to pay just like everybody else. Uh, and, uh, but uh, we're going to invite Ruby on back on up here. Woo. Come on, Ruby. Time to get to work. He's back there hanging, back there hanging out, you know, just enjoying the show. Nah, it's time to get to work. They came to see you. I'm just saying. We're going to finish this out. And, uh, you know, one of those other tunes, and I was just surprised by this young lady. I said, what you want to do? You know, she's like, I, I like McCoy. I'm like, McCoy? Singers don't sing McCoy. She says, why not? I said, well, that's a good question. Why not? So she said, I do. I said, OK, what, what, what you got? She said, how about McCoy's Passion Dance? So uh, this is Ruby's little thing on Passion Dance by the great McCoy Tyner. And this will end our set. And uh, But you know, hang on out. And uh, we got some more music happening for you. McCoy Tyner's Passion Dance. I 
one handshake Coming straight down to the wire All this is all I can take Time is running out too fast Gotta get up on my feet now Think I got it down at last Found this up and now I know how the time flows The beat comes on My eyes close My breath is gone I'm chomping
A short, short little break because we're going to get back and play some more music. Uh, but uh, we thank you so much. We thank you so much. We appreciate you so much for coming down and enjoying live music because without you, there is no us. You know, and that's just the way it is. So uh, we appreciate you. And please uh, hang on out. And we've got some more music coming for you in about five or so. All right. Catch you in a second. Bye-bye. <laughs> 